Hey, how's it going? So, today we are finally allowed to be back outside. We're still respecting uh, safety distances, but we are allowed to be back outside. So, what better day to finally get to try some motors? So, I don't know if you've noticed, but usually every year T Motor releases two main motors, which are the F60 Pro Series and the F60 Pro Series. But this year, there's like a ton more. There's like, look at all these. Like they have the Pacers, the, the Velox, the uh, normal high grade motors. And within those, there's like different types of motors. So that's a lot of motors to look at. And um, you might be a bit confused as to why and they, they're doing that and what is their, the difference between all of them. So we are here today to clear that out. I've got with me my old trusty uh, F60 Pro 3, the Velox uh, 2208 uh, motors in uh, 1700 kV. Then I've got the, the F60 Pro 4 and I've got the Pacers in 2207.5. Uh, um, so I've, I've got to spend time a little bit with all of these motors. The point is, the Velox series is their cheap series. It's, it's the budget motors. The Pacer is kind of in between. And then you've got the high-end motors, which are the F60 for, uh, Pro 4, for example. I'm a big fan of the, the Pro 3. And to me, it's almost the perfect motor. So we are gonna try and see today if any of them match or if any of them kind of make sense or what I actually prefer on top of all this and what you should probably buy. Let's go. Let's try at the bottom of the price point. We're gonna go with the Velox 2208. So what I'm finding with these motors is that they're actually super super smooth they are definitely smooth but the problem that they have i think the trade-off is that it's kind of lacking power a little bit i mean it's got power it's a different curve because it's not what i'm usually used to because it's a 2208 and not 2207 like i usually fly but there's just something about it that is just very different to me and I feel that it could be more powerful but yeah that's just uh that's just how it is my other concern with these is um is, is conception like I haven't spent a lot of time crashing them for the moment but I feel like these would give in easily what I like about them is that they look really baller like with this like disco ball type of uh, type of look I'm, I'm actually enjoying this quite a lot but yeah it's uh, it's definitely it's definitely fragile you can you can tell but it's super super cheap and that's interesting for example if you want to go bendos or whatever you've got a serious contender here and it's interesting because at first when i first tried it i didn't like them i didn't really get the motor but now that i'm spending more time with it i i'm starting to kind of enjoy it basically the main difference has got is, is that it's got all its power on top and one thing that I don't like with this motor as well, that comes from the size, is that the battery just gets toasted. Like, I mean, I can fly like 30 seconds less than I usually fly. And that's, that's kind of a shame a little bit. And now it's on to the Pacers. Um, so the Pacers 2207.5, which is exactly the same as the F60 Pro 3 and 4 in terms of size. Let's see what they have, what really differs when we fly them. Okay, so immediately, right off the bat, I'm feeling something a lot similar to what I'm used to, which I really like, because uh, 
I mean, that means I can be more precise in what I do and I can be a little bit, I mean, I can take a little bit more risks as well. But for these, what I've found is that they are super similar to the F60 Pro 3 that I'm currently using in terms, since they're using the same size but I find them a little bit less like smooth they're not as smooth they fly great but sometimes it's just like they're just a little bit harsher on certain things and I don't necessarily enjoy that as much in terms of difference in the making of these compared to the uh, compared to the the, the others uh, basically what I've discovered is that uh, T-Motor uses the same kind of platform for the stator for um, for, for, for the um, for the Velox and the Pacer so it's the same base as you, if you wish and then there's um, the, the difference is mainly in the bell so one bell is going to be uh, with like higher and um, magnets and the other bell from the Velox is going to be a little bit cheaper with more space in the magnets and then you're going to have a lot of I mean, of difference in terms of the design of the bell itself as well and the steel that is being I mean the material that is being used because usually it's not steel it's aluminium and yeah like that's the main thing to me the shaft is the same and what I've been happy about on all of them is that it's not a small shaft like sometimes you get like a three millimeter shaft on cheap motors and it's not the case on these which is awesome in terms of battery life I find these to last a little bit longer than uh, the, uh, the, the Velox but that's mainly because of the size difference but still not as much as oh yeah definitely not as much as the um, definitely not as much as the uh, F60 Pro 3 okay so now we're gonna try my favorite motor at the time which is the F60 Pro 3 what I like about this motor is that it's very balanced everything is where it should be to my taste it's not super super powerful it's not over powerful uh, which I find with some motors there's just too much power and you can't really like catch yourself up and that's a big big problem for me but on this one everything is just balanced and nice nice and easy just just the way I like it basically and I'm so used to it after flying it for over a year that I really really enjoy it and I know exactly where things are gonna go and consistency is super important when you do freestyle because you want to know your gear perfectly like since I've been since I've been uh, trying different motors it's been harder for me to hit gaps consistently and just do normal stuff that I used to do uh, with no problem and also I mean confinement didn't help out yeah Woo. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was one of the big issues I would say uh, of confinement, which was kind of losing the feel for it. But yeah, this motor is just super super nice. I got no complaint about it. It's also pretty efficient in terms of battery life, which is super nice. I'm just just having a blast here. the 2207 is that there's a throttle curve 
that you don't get on uh, 23 or 6 for example where it's going to be a little bit like having some expo on your throttle at the bottom which I like usually on the 2306 what happens is that you get this kind of uh, low-end torque that some people like for example steel really likes it and uh, it's pretty cool but to me I kind of want to work my throttle back up slow and nice and uh, that's what this motor is really giving me which I like and now as I come close to the end of the battery I still have plenty of power I've been sending it exactly the same as with the others but I still have somehow more power and that comes from efficiency This one you can even push it a little bit further than my usual timer. I've noticed that I can I can safely go all the way to the end of my timer and still have juice. Alright, perfect. So now we're trying the Pro 4, which is the latest generation of the F60 series. So this one's looking super sharp, it feels like more power than, uh, than the Pro 3 stuff. Maybe it's just because it's got less wind or something, but it's still very smooth, which I like. Yeah, it's got, it's got a little something different, I don't, it's hard to say what it is exactly, but also, we had to change uh, to change mounts, and it took a little bit of time. So maybe I'm just losing. I just lost the feeling. But what I'm I'm hoping for that one is that it's going to be just as good as the Pro Three, because I really like the way they look and uh, the, the the Pro Four looks and uh it's also made like it looks a lot more solid in a way so i'm hoping that these new guys are going to be better in that sense that they're going to be a bit more solid which is always nice all right let's try that okay Ooh. yeah I'm, I'm super comfortable with these motors and they're super sharp as well, which I always enjoy. Are they uh, as smooth though? I think so. I think I think it's the right balance again. Like that's why I enjoy this F60 series. It's always been about kind of balance, and on that one, I think they achieved it again. Like they, they're doing it again. Damn, I have to change because I have 30 uh, F60 Pro 3 motors. If I have to change all of them, it's going to take me forever. But yeah, I mean, they're. I've, I feel very much in control, just like I am with uh, the Pro 3s. But at the same time, I feel like I've got a, just a little bit more power, which. I might have to adjust but yeah it's just it's just nice it, it gives you that extra control I think Ooh, real close okay let's chill a little bit in terms of battery use I don't know they seem fine these ones are I have only flown them uh, in my latest video uh, the the uh, Mont Saint Michel video, um, so I don't know as much about them as the Velox and uh, and the uh, the Pacers, but yeah, they they feel real nice. Not much sag in the battery. Uh, yeah, they're just. I think they're just the same in terms of battery usage. Uh, which is awesome. 
Okay. Pushing it. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's come back. In terms of battery usage, it's the same as the Pro 3. Really enjoy that motor. Yeah, it feels more modern in a way. It's, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, it feels a bit more modern. And I think I'm enjoying that. I might switch over all my motors to the Pro 4 because I like to have only one motor and just, and just that's my go-to and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, all my quads are the same. Um, so that's why I'm trying to go for that. And I think I think I might switch over. All right, so we are back at home and now we're gonna try to kind of break down this whole lineup and understand what T-Motor was going for this year. Starting with the Velox uh, 2208. Personally, it's not my favorite motor as the throttle curve is not really adapted to what I'm gonna do, but it's a very decent motor for someone that wants to go with something pretty cheap. Uh, however, if you wanna go for a 2207, I would advise actually going for the $12 motor instead of that one, because I believe the only difference is mostly the bell. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you wanna go for a bell that looks super, super funky, that's, that's kind of what you get with that. Otherwise, you can go for the very cheap motor. If you're gonna go cheap, you might as well just go very cheap um, with the $12 instead of 15 for that one. Moving on to the Pacer. The Pacer is a very, very decent motor. To me, it feels like the Pro 3 in a lot of ways. It's slightly less uh, smooth, but it's the motor that I would recommend for someone that actually wants to start doing cinematic and wants to go with something pretty quality. Uh, yeah, very decent motor. A little bit cheaper at $20 compared to the $26 for the premium one. And yeah, it's, it's just very, very nice. Let's go to the next one, which is my favorite motor of all time, the Pro 3. Uh, it has been so far at least and uh, yeah, I really really enjoy that motor Unfortunately, it's discontinued. So right now you can get it for a little bit cheaper uh, Since the new version came out, but you have to know that it's going to Eventually get extinct uh, in a way and you won't be able to find replacement parts So that's something that you have to consider if you buying this motor I really, really like it. It's very smooth and it's got just the right balance to me. Uh, now moving on to the new thing, which is the F60 Pro 4. The F60 Pro 4 is super powerful. It feels like a little bit more in the future compared to the Pro 3 and it's a clear evolution. When you look at the bottom, for example, this one is a lot more rugged. There's the, the bell feels more solid. There's a new winding in place as well, which is like a little bit thicker compared to that very thin winding here. Uh, so it's definitely a completely new motor. Uh, the magnets are also different, or are they actually? Uh, yeah, they're thinner on this one. So it's a completely new motor and I really, really like the feel of it. At first I didn't know whether or not I would enjoy uh, the, um, the extra power that I'm getting out of this but uh, after like a little bit of thinking and, and, um, and trying it out a bit more this is my new motor now this is what I'm going to go for uh, I've already installed it on my freestyle builds and for the moment the others are in uh, the cinematic rigs are with the Pro 3 but I'm just going to be waiting for some more Pro 4s to come and switch over all of my quads eventually um, so yeah, there you have it. I mean, uh, the thing that I really like for all of them, by the way, is that they've got a thick shaft with a big M3 uh, screw at the bottom. So that's not something that you're gonna break. Like they used to have, I uh, see an M2, uh, which was harder to kind of, I mean, you could get it stuck. Uh, these ones go with M3 and that's, that's pretty solid. So yeah, here's my new motor and uh, throughout this experiment, we've discovered that it is a T-motor motor for everyone really, whether you want to spend very little money or if you want to spend a lot more. 
there's a, a motor that I haven't tried, which is the round one. I'm not gonna try it because I've found what I like and I'm just gonna stick to it. My advice is always find something that you enjoy flying, get used to it, and then just keep on flying that same thing and build some more of the same thing so that it's very consistent and you can get a very consistent flying experience. That's how you actually progress. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a T-motor motor for literally everyone right now, and that's kind of why they've made so many this year. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope that it helped you out. Pick your new motor. See you next time. Bye-bye.